Let's close this up nice and tight. Power the some bitch on and see. Yay! There's that. Usually spins, then turns off or unlocks. Boom. And then. Yeah! Today we are going to fix the control unit of this Whirlpool Duet washer. Here's what's happening. You know, you set it to a setting, say normal wash, and then you hit the start button. And then the damn thing just flashes. Right? Now, in tinkering around with this, I have been able to like set it to something else and maybe get it to work, but it's a real pain. And lately it's just been getting worse. I have read some things that if you unplug it, let the capacitors drain and it will eventually work. But I find that that, that I think is probably wishful thinking. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna change out the control unit which is under here, down below, from a company, Circuit Board Medics. When ordering this control circuit board, uh, I did see that it did work with a number of different manufacturers. They, they share all the, the same innards. It just, you gotta get the right combination. Just make sure that you check your model number and do your due diligence, check a couple websites, tool around, and find the right unit for it. And there's three screws, left, right, and center, and then this whole thing pops up, boom. I've already removed the screws, of course. And then in here, here's your MCU, right there. And what we need to do next is, come on, focus. What we need to do next is, is get around this shock absorber for the the drum pop this things open and of course get all these these uh, fittings off these wirings off so let's go ahead and do that so I should say before we really get into this is that the main brain unit here cost me all said and done out the door about 250 that includes a return label of the uh, of the old unit that way I guess they can go back and try to fix that one and use this for somebody else uh, the box is there of course and a new unit I went and looked at old Home Depot and a cheaper unit not the cheapest but you know mid-range it's gonna run you in today's prices about 850 and then got to pay taxes and all that to it so eek you know you're probably looking at 900 950 uh, out the door for a new washer the hope is is that this is the thing that's that's broke in tooling around online um it seems to be this is the root cause for most of these type of flashing issues so um before we get going do unplug kill the power unplug make sure everything is set and you don't shock yourself or don't be stupid that's what I'm trying to say all right now that the unit's out here's the old one that top blue wire that went into that that top bit right there there's the tab that you need to pull down. I just snapped that some bitch off. Oh well, it's broke anyway. So, um, anyways, this one didn't seem to have a clip on it. That was the pink one. But you look on there, there is one there. It's a little bit hidden, so you gotta gotta find it. And then uh, the green one, which actually went into the top bit. Remember the placement of that one. It's on the top. It's a Depress right here. Boop, boop. Come on, focus. Right there, that top piece. If you have a little screwdriver, flat head, work that in, comes right out. Not too bad. But this whole unit is in those slots in there. And it's held in with this clip here. And that one was pretty easy. Once you pull that up, you pull the whole unit out towards you. And then it just pops up. 
And I almost forgot this one, which is there's actually two, which make it a little pain because the two are on the same side, clips that you need to release in, to, in order to get out this wire harness. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the, the whole brand new unit. Try to anyways. Okay, so we got it in the slots right there at the bottom, right down there. Trying to reconnect all these harnesses. So, start off with the blue one that was on top. It does go in nice and easy and the wires face towards the, the side here. Come on. I know that shock is right in the way of all this stuff. And we got this black and green one. That was the double. That's a kind of a pain to get at. At least this one was for me. Green goes into that top one. Tab up. Come on. One more. Why is the pink one always a pain? Woo! Alright. Alright. So, until I verify whether or not this is going to work, I'm not going to necessarily close that or zip tie it up. But let's, let's see how we did. Moment of truth. Boom. So taped to the inside of this front unit here is the technician's uh, guide, diagnostic guide. Oh, those dirty buggers. All right, so I'm just going through some diagnostic testing now. Uh, the thing where it was just beeping, beeping and wasn't doing anything, that was because I didn't have the door pushed fully closed. I think that little door sensor is starting to go out on me, but nevertheless, uh, I slammed it closed, got it to power on, and then the door locked on me. And 04, which had just passed, is the motor control unit, which is the thing I just replaced. And I see uh, a 07 and a 08 here that are also the motor control unit. So maybe if I run it through its little paces, it will figure it out recalibrate it just went through its diagnostic um, it didn't give me any error code or anything I'm really not sure what I'm expecting from that but it went through its whole cycle let's close this up nice and tight power the some bitch on and see yay there's that usually spins then turns off or unlocks, boom, and then, Fuck yeah, she fix. All right, man. Thanks for tuning in. I've been thinking about what to do with this channel. This isn't a fix it channel. I know that, but I think what I want to do is, you know, I do a little building, little gardening, little cooking. I want this to be a sustainability type channel. Right? These type of little things happen all the time. You gotta troubleshoot them as the head of the household. You better fix it or your spouse, or your old lady, your dog, they're gonna be pissed off. So if you don't mind, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. They've made the world so goddamn complicated now that you have to call a professional and then you're spending hundreds of dollars and the new units end up being cheaper than the, the you know, calling the tech and all that stuff. So, and uh, if you don't mind, go and check out uh, Circuit Board Medics. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it seemed like a good source to try to find some of these outdated products where you can't find them on eBay or from the manufacturer directly. Um, great source, great business model, in my opinion, to fix some of these things that you should be able to fix yourself. This was not a difficult thing to do. Yeah, it was a little bit in there and there it had its challenges, but you know, any do-it-yourselfer should be able to do something like this. 
and save you hundreds of dollars. That right there, 500 bucks in the bank. So, tune in guys. Hopefully you come back and watch some more of the videos.